Now remind me, did you just do the Philadelphia Cotillion or did you also debut internationally? I'm happy to say that I don't even get that. How was your trip? Terrible. I had to give up my window seat to some seven-year-old who had to sit next to her precious mommy. Uh, what about the actual purpose of your trip? How was the search for the new cast member going? Okay. I saw a few good alternative comics in San Francisco. At San the... Francisco? I asked you to find an actor from middle America, a real person. You're not going to find him in the people's gay public of Drugafornia. Jeez, relax. I'm also setting up auditions in Toronto. Canada? <laughs> Why not just go to Iraq? The television audience doesn't want your elitist East Coast alternative intellectual left wing. Jeff, just say Jewish. This is taking forever. Stop trying to amuse yourself and start thinking about what makes actual human beings laugh. Who wants my puddings? <laughs> <laughs> now that's what I'm talking about. What a dumb. Oh, no, he's really hurt. Hey, Tracy, did you hear? Fred Dawkins, the incredibly overweight guy that Pac-Man was based on, died last night. I will eat a bowl of cherries and some ghost meat in his honor. Orange and black decorations? Is this Halloween or Prince and Parents weekend? I don't know whether to be scared or proud of my cousin. It's Halloween, sir. Proud it is. But this almost All Saints Day isn't going to be much of a celebration. I just heard that world famous clog dancer Jugbert Cody has gone to a better place. He's in Cabo? No, sir. He passed away. But at least he died doing what he loved, blogging on the Huffington Post. Wow. Two down, one to go. What do you mean? The rule of threes. Celebrities always die in groups of three. You better be careful, Trey. You're right. That's not a real thing. <laughs> this is going to be the scariest prison parents weekend ever! So we're agreed. Assuming nothing goes wrong in the next eight hours, Jaden Michael Tyler will be the next TGS cast member. Eight cities, 40 comics, one slap fight with a TSA agent. I'm done. Jaden's the one. <sighs> now we just have to make Jack think that hiring Jaden was his decision. Who are the decoys we will be using for the audition? A uh, middle aged female comic with a bolo tie, a uh, one man band who only plays Halloween music, and Australia's Jackie Mason. Jack will hate all of them and pick Jaden. Oh, I hate doing this to people. They all think this is their big break, but we're just using them. I call it the Hornburger system. You've never been on the other side of this, Pete. Auditioning is hard. So much rejection. Elizabeth Lemon, I am represented by Suzanne's B-plus talent. My carpets need a deep clean. Next! And then you call your mom and tell her it went great, and you've got a really good feeling about this year. I know it's no fun, but you are making this guy's dreams come true. At your age, it's probably the last time you'll ever make a man happy. <laughs> That's true, Liz is old. Uh, where are we on this audition? Uh, we've narrowed it down to four people for this afternoon. I'm already not liking some of these people. It reminds me of being on the bus. Hey, come on, guys, these are people up here with feelings and mothers who worry about them. Lemon, stop right there. You are on top of the pyramid. TGS is a small pyramid, which nevertheless will one day be your tomb. You can't let emotions distract you from making decisions about the slaves who built the pyramid, which again will one day be your tomb. Jeez, sorry I'm not a robot. We all are, but we're getting there. In 10 years, this will all be the size of a microchip. Until then, you're in charge. Think like a robot. Be logical and dispassionate. Are you OK? See, that's exactly what I'm talking about, human empathy. It's as useless as the Winter Olympics. This February on NBC. I never thought this day would come, Lizzie. Okay, push! <laughs> push, Liz Lemon! Ah! Here comes your baby! Congratulations! It's me, Cat! <laughs> the cheesy blasters mascot. I'm what's inside ya. <gasps> Razzmatazz. <laughs> <sighs> I gotta eat better. Oh. Hello, Mr. Hornberger. I thought I was the only one here at this hour. No, this is just my little ritual, so I can have a moment of peace and quiet between home, where this happened, and work, where I'm always being interrupted. Oh, I get it. A little peat time, pardon the familiarity. Well, you just enjoy your coffee, sir, while I tell you a funny story about my friend's cat. His name is Mr. Wiggles, and his cat's name is Benson. Where's Liz? I need to speak to her right away. I guess that's the end of Pete and Kenneth time. Liz, she's here. Berna's here. My mother is downstairs. Are you sure? I didn't see her. Security called. 
She was trying to use an Oxycontin prescription bottle as ID. That's Verna. Oh! So is she coming up? Are you kidding? I told them to throw her off the property, but I'm sure she's down there, sitting on a curb, chain smoking, and waiting for me to come out. Just like the day I was born. Wow. Look, Jenna, I know that she's no prize, but no matter what, Verna is your mother. Don't you want to have a relationship with your mother? This isn't a relationship. This is some woman who shows up every couple of years to ask for money. To her, I'm just a gorgeous, naturally blonde ATM. You know, my mother and I sometimes didn't see eye to eye, but at the end of the day, we always said, don't go to sleep with the frown in your pocket. Oh, Liz, you don't know anything about mothers. Where's Jack? Go into your yard and tie it on a rocket. Shoot it to the moon, you'll be feeling better soon. Don't go to bed with the frown. Hey, Liz, my daughter's selling Valentine cookies for school fundraiser. Valentine's Day is a sham created by card companies to reinforce and exploit gender stereotypes. Evelyn, this is the lady I was telling you about. I like Valentine's Day. Tommy Redeker gave me a card. <laughs> Learn from my sexual misadventures, Evelyn. Last Valentine's Day, I watched my boyfriend Drew's mother slash grandmother die. I met Floyd on Valentine's Day, but he left me for the city of Cleveland. And forget about Dennis. That pervert would always just try to get me All drunk. All right, so zero cookies. No, I'll buy some cookies, but not for Valentine's Day. Instead, these cookies celebrate the February 14th birthday of Anna Howard Shaw, famed American suffragette. Happy Anna Howard Shaw Day to you, Evelyn. Come on. A happy Anna Howard Shaw Day to us all. Hey, Jack. Did you dye your hair? No. No. So, how was your New Year's? Wonderful. My dear friend, the deep sea explorer Bob Ballard, brought over a 2,000 year old amphora of wine from a sunken Phoenician trading vessel. <laughs> the wine turned out to be quite toxic. <laughs> <laughs> Guests and I spent the stroke of midnight in my garden vomiting. Oh my God, sorry. And don't be. The whole night, purging, the new year, the vivid hallucinations of Astarte, the Phoenician goddess of sex and war, it all wiped the slate clean. So, Nancy Donovan. What happened before Christmas was a mistake. She hasn't contacted me since, so clearly she agrees. It's over. Well, that's healthy. A clean break. Exactly. A clean break. So what about you, Lemon? Is your 2010 off to a good start? Well, I spent New Year's Eve with my family, which was actually very special. My cousin Randy, this kid from this rural coal mining town, came out to us. And I think old Liz Lemon had a little something to do with that. Randy's gay, everybody. He's gay. I think everyone knew. Hey, Tracy. Finally, over the break, I forgot what floor I worked on. Six, Tracy. Six. I knew it was a character from Blossom, but I couldn't find a Joey Russo button. Hold the door. You guys, I had the most amazing New Year's. I met James Franco's manager. It was like a fairy tale. And my client, James Franco, he's actively looking for a relationship with a human woman to dispel certain unsavory rumors. Are you available for a fake romance with a movie star? Just chewing on a sponge trick your brain's hunger center? Yes, yes, a million times yes. Okay. So this is some arranged Hollywood relationship? With James Franco? Can you believe they went to me before Aia from the real world Cancun? I think it's great. The exposure will do wonders for you and TGS Lemon. I want you and Jenna to have a meeting with James Franco and make sure his manager doesn't screw her. Too late. Oh, wait, which way did you mean that? I had a pretty amazing New Year's too. My wife and I are trying for a daughter, and on New Year's Eve, I think I got Angie pregnant. No, 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 no. Okay, but I was gonna describe it real good. Jack, got a minute? Avery, of course. Are you okay? Oh, yeah, it's nothing. I was a guest on Mad Money last night. What's happening? It's one of you, Jim Kramer! Okay, stop it, stop it! I didn't realize we were still airing that. Kramer's been dead for six months. Look, I know I'm supposed to go with you to Ceri's wedding this weekend, but I can't make it. Okay, I know you and I are in a period of detente right now because of my other... Piece of tail. I was going to say romantic entanglements, but you do not want to miss this wedding. It's going to be New York royalty. The Astors, the Rockefellers, the Sabaros. Yes, I know, Jack. You think I don't want to know what Pizzerina Sabaro is going to be wearing? Then come. You both know that is a bad idea, which is why I scheduled a conflict for this weekend I can't get out of. What is it? Well, if you must know, I'm on Dodecacel, the pill where you only get your period once a year. <sighs> We're so close to beating that thing completely. Ah, uh, well, my time has come. 
So I'm going to a spa. Well, it's not really a spa. It's more of a fenced-in area in the Adirondacks. Fine. I'll go alone. And while I'm gone, do some thinking about us. I promise you this weekend will be filled with staring out windows while holding a glass of scotch. That means a lot to me. Have a uh, good time at your fenced-in area, and I'll see you in two weeks. What's that supposed to mean, you dumb douche? Ooh, it's starting. I should go. Aloha means hello and goodbye, so aloha. What? Hi, handsome. I didn't know you were coming to New York. I'm here to see my man. <laughs> You're not busy this weekend, are you? Well, I am, actually. I have some thinking to do. Well, you can do your thinking. We'll just do it together on that tour boat that's painted like a shark. Hey, Liz, I need to know the name of the date you're bringing to my wedding. I am coming alone, sorry, but I would still like two meals. So is it okay if I sit you next to my dad's mistress's cousin? Whatever makes it easier for you. Awesome. God, three weddings in one day. I'm gonna be in Spanx for 12 hours. My elastic line is gonna get infected again. Are you really not bringing someone to Suri's wedding? I don't care about having a date. What about Floyd's wedding? If I have to sit through that alone, I will rent a car, set it on fire, and drive it off a waterfall. I could set you up with my trainer. He's gay, but not when he's drunk. You know, I don't need help, Jenna. I know where I'm gonna find my date because I have already met him. What are you talking about? Jack's mom said to me that there's only a few different types of men in the world. And at my age, I have met all of them. So I'm gonna go back through my gentleman Rolodex. Sexual time travel, just like my Cinemax softcore Emmanuel goes to dinosaur land. I've dated plenty of good guys. My standards have just been too high. Yeah, they have. Meet me in the handicap stall in 10 seconds. I'd like to welcome everyone to this NBC employee town hall meeting and thank you for taking time out of your busy schedules. Yeah, I'm supposed to be drinking a soda right now. A uh, special thanks to those joining us via simulcast, particularly you gentlemen in the Tokyo office. I know it's late there. I don't know why you're wearing girls' pajamas, but I'm sure it's cultural. I'm here to address concerns regarding the acquisition of our company by Cable Town, with a K. Now, this is an exciting time for NBC, not Seinfeld Friends ER exciting, more like 3D episodes of Merlin exciting, but I believe this is a great opportunity for all of us because Cable Town is a great company, even if it is from Philadelphia. Go Eagles! How did you even get a snowball? Philly rules, cheesesteaks, Bobby Clark, Will Smith. Your town sucks. You do not want this argument, Lemon. Boston is the greatest city in the world. Boo. Boston Tea Party, Boston Cream Pie, Boston Rob Mariano, birthplace of Benjamin Franklin. Yeah, then he looked around, realized it sucked, and moved to Philadelphia. Oh, did you just whip a battery at me? Mr. Donaghy, I'm sorry. Can we get back to the meeting? Of course. My apologies to our friends uh, from the great city of Los Angeles. <laughs> hey, stop laughing. L.A. rules. Michael Bay, freeways, Legoland. Before I take your questions, I'd like to say a few words about Don Guys. The world has lost a giant. He built GE into the greatest company on Earth, and the Earth into one of the top three planets in the universe. For those of you wishing to pay your respects, there will be an Episcopal cryogenic freezing service open to all Six Sigma black belts and higher. That's the craziest thing I ever heard, Episcopal. Now, the floor is open to questions. I would be remiss if I didn't honor our fallen leader with a song. This is for you, Dan Goose. Amazing. 